Hello there. This is Wendy, and welcome to Stormy Wind Productions channel on YouTube. This is our garden update for October 16th, 2020. First of all, I want to thank you for watching my videos. It means a lot, and what would really help me is if you could share my videos so others can see them too. We've been very busy preserving the last of our ripening tomatoes. The last batch that ripened I made into six pounds of puree. We used a package the other day to make chili and wow was that amazingly tasting. So delicious. We also were using a can of chili bean starter when you use that with a McCormick package of chili in with your uh, tomatoes, it's just absolutely delicious. I just wanted to share that with you. But anyways, um, the broccoli was harvested. We were harvesting mostly shoots. And um, for some reason, the um, it was very spindly and it did not cook down very good. It uh, was very disappointing, but um, here's some onions um, that I've been growing. I, I cut off the ends and uh, get them to root again and put them under a light near my coffee pot in the morning and I change the water out every day. But anyways, I also put tomato. These are the last of the tomatoes that are ripening on my windowsill. But anyway, I just thought I would show you. Uh, here's a uh, bowl of all of our cloth masks that we've been washing. This is the last of the garden bed. These are broccolis and Brussels sprouts. This is a weed growing near a stump. Well, we had to remove eight trees in our yard in order to be able to plant our garden. <laughs> but these are wildflowers growing over in the area near the compost pile. But anyhow, um, I enjoy doing photography and I did a little, you know, editing on some of that. Uh, here's some of the uh, dead zinnias. <laughs> I've got a bouquet of dead zinnias in the bathroom. But Howard bought me a beautiful bouquet of roses the other day and so I thought I would get a few shots of that uh, to try to brighten up your day. But they were just gorgeous roses and they smell so lovely and uh, so I had to get some pictures to show you. We also um, have um, some bad news. Um, I did some major treatments on my pepper plants downstairs and there's an aphid infestation and I hate to say it I have pictures at the end of this video with the aphids um, if anyone can suggest how to kill these damn things uh, or what to do I would really appreciate that um, it's very frustrating to me because I was really hoping to grow some peppers indoors this year but here we are, here comes our aphid shots after the beautiful roses. But we have an infestation downstairs. I didn't want to tell you, but I've been trying so hard. I washed all of the leaves and I treated it with this uh, insecticide called 8. And um, so I, I'm going to see if maybe you guys could help me to find, I, I think it might be neem oil. Uh, but um, I just wanted to share this with you before the videos start because the videos I already am talking on so I just wanted to uh, make sure that uh, you get to see these uh, discouraging photos but after this there'll be uh, another uh, outdoor update for my garlic but meanwhile um, and these are my my peppers. There's a lot of buds on them. So if y'all could help me save those. Hey there. Would be great. Look what we have still growing in, in a pot over here. I've just dug a trench, trench here. This is where my hollyhocks grew and there's asparagus down at the end. 
And then this, this here is a, goodness gracious, I can't remember at the moment, but uh, anyways, it's growing around it. <laughs> Some of my flowers that I'm growing. But uh, I am going to be doing the same thing here in the, in the big garden. And um, so what I plan on doing is I'm going to go into my compost pile and I'm going to put some compost inside of the wheelbarrow. I'm going to put compost in the trench after I cut the weed fabric first, of course. So I have to cut all this fabric all the way up before I do that and then come out and plant my garlic bulbs every three inches. Uh, over in northern New York, we have to grow hardneck garlic because it's the only garlic I guess that grows here well. So, but anyways, this is our first year growing garlic. I have about 56 um, from uh, quite a few bulbs that Howard purchased for me recently. And today was just perfect weather to get some of this work done and I just thought I would take you along for the ride. Anyways, I am going to end this for the moment, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm back with where I am. Here's an update on our Brussels sprouts. They're very, still pretty small, but I have trimmed a bunch of the leaves. Either they're real small or they're real big, like on this one, this is huge, but we've got some small ones growing right here. And then we've got some growing right here. And of course, right here. These are all. Let's see where we are here. Here's some more. These are Brussels sprouts. I've, I've grown Brussels sprouts before. And um, I don't think there was enough amendments put into our garden. We're hoping to do a perm permaculture garden, but I may end up doing some amending on the tops of it next year. Make sure that uh, it's refreshed. Because it looks to me like it didn't get mixed in as well as I'd like it to. Um, because, you know, the growth isn't the greatest on the on the broccoli this year or the Brussels sprouts but just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this and I will be back in a few minutes I am back I just wanted to give you a little peek this is what broccoli looks like after it was cleaned real leggy but anyway, just wanted to give you that quick little update. Well, I've got the last of the garlic planted. Also got it in the garden. Yay! We still have some asparagus that we just planted. First year. So, very cool. 